Have you ever been in charge of 12 young boys? No, sir. Have you ever rubbed two sticks together to make a fire? No, sir. Have you ever put your life in another boy's hands? Have you ever asked another boy to put his life in yours? No, sir. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people's crafts turn out shoddy. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. I think we've uh, I think we've established the uh, clarity. All those having business with this general court martial stand forward and you shall be heard. The facts of the matter are these. On midnight of September 6th, the accused entered the bunk site of their troopmate. While he was sleeping, they placed his right hand into a glass of warm water. He then woke up, wherein they proceeded to perpetrate in the giving of a wedgie, and then suspended him from a flagpole, whereupon they commenced to taunting him and calling him Skidmark Santiago. He then fainted, fell off the pole, and skinned his knee. Listen up, Glory Boy. As den mother of this troop, let me tell you, if you insist upon handling this case in the same fast food, slick ass, Persian Bazaar manner in which you seem to handle everything, then you're gonna wind up with one childproof, egg eating, shrink to fit, three legged. Style Santiago got wedgie, and that is tragedy. But he got wedgie because he had no code. No cold? No, a code. He had no code. I ain't had no, I don't know. What, what is he? Can you? He had no cold in a menorah? A, uh... Wait, what are, you, what are you telling me? Scott Santiago was Jewish? Because I, uh, uh, I don't think so. Cholesterol free, Rowan and Martin open and shut, Johnny come lately, golden brown, hot and sour. You want to investigate me? Roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast every day with 12 angry fathers who think I'm secretly touching their sons. So don't think you're going to come down here, flash a merit badge, and make me nervous. Fat inducing. Liposucted Bruce Willis sneer, Habsburg chimp, thirst quenching. Son, we live in a world that has pup tents, and those tents are held together with various knots a scout must learn. The square knot, the granny knot, the shank, the hitch, the half hitch. Who's gonna tie those knots? You! Your scouts follow orders or people get wedgied. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! You want the truth? I want the truth! What do you want? The truth! When do you want it? Now! Give me a T! T! Give me an R! R! Give me a U! U! Give me a T! T! Give me an H! H! What's that spell? The truth! All right, you got it. <laughs> That's great, thank you. No further questions. In the heart of troop number A3-54, in a den mother's barracks, they're clearing a space on the mantle for a special guest named Oscar. I think I, uh, I think I got a pretty good shot here. I mean, this is uh, it's pretty intense stuff. So uh, yeah, it's uh, 